So as a community, as women, as men living together on this earth, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala taught us something also. One of the uniqueness of the human beings are they are the only creatures that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created that they need dress code. If you look at any other creatures, they don't. The way Allah created them, that's how they live here, other than human beings. Was that mentioned in the Quran? Subhanallah. Yes. What should we wear? It's in the Quran. So what did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Al-A'raf, the height? Ya Bani Adam. Now this is a call to all the children of Adam. Muslims, non-Muslims, everyone living before coming after us. We have sent down to you clothing to cover your private parts. So another kind of clothing. Risha is the clothing that we use, that we wear for beauty. Outer garments to beautify us. And that's fine. That's what Allah said. But then as the Quran a beautiful way when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives things that are halal and we should do but then he gives us things that is better and then he and made this parable look at this one the garment of taqwa this is better this is from the signs of Allah so they may remember what is he telling me and you if you look at the next verse it We'll explain this even better. Ya bani Adam again. Children of Adam, la yaftininnakum shaytan. Do not let shaytan lure you. Kama akhraja abawaykum min al-jannah. The same way. Remember when we talked about why didn't we stay in jannah? Was shaytan a trick? And what did he, what does he do? La yaftininnakum shaytan. Kama akhraja abawaykum min al-jannah. Yanzi'u anhuma libasahuma. He made them one day eat from the tree that Allah told them not to eat, what happens? Their private parts were exposed. Why is this? Humanity, human being, and especially Muslims, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala focus always on something called haya, mainly when it comes to related to dress is modesty. And what shaitan did to them in, in Jannah, he made them disobey Allah and the result of the disobedience of Allah, they were exposed. And Allah is telling me, don't do that. Be careful. And libas taqwa the garment of taqwa. Well, I'm not going to wear taqwa, but meaning when the consciousness, consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be like my clothes. It's always attached to my body. I'm going to be always thinking of Allah, learning about Allah, remembering Allah, and obeying Him. Now we go to Surah An-Nur the light, the chapter light, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here goes in detail, especially about the dress code for the woman. For the men, he said two things. Say to the believing men, lower your gaze, because that will help in the conduct between the two genders. Guard their private part, including in the dress code. In Allah khabirun bima yastaun. Allah is all aware of what they are doing. When it comes to the woman, Allah gets into more details. Why? Because as women, normally, beauty is part of us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala beautified us. And now he comes and says, starting the same way, mu'minati, meaning Rasulullah alayhi salatu wasalam, say to the believing woman, يَغْضُضْنَ min أَفْصَارِهِنَّ Lower your gaze, same as the man. Guard your private part and don't show your beauty. Don't expose your beauty except that part or that beauty or those beauties that are naturally there. And most of the scholars will tell you it's usually the face, the hand for those who say that face is okay to be uh, not covered. For those who say it needs to be covered, they say in the dress code you are wearing should not be too beautified. But then Allah immediately afterward give more details. What is al-khimar? Khimar is from word khamr, which is something that covers. And in that time, khimar is the head cover. The head cover, they didn't call it hijab. It's called khimar. 
But at that time, they used to just put it very loosely on the head, and it doesn't cover their uh, chest or the, or the part from the neck down. And Allah said, keep that cover of the head, of the hair, but draw it, yadrabna, draw it, make it tight, that it touches the skin, cover the whole face, and cover the part from the neck up to the cleavage of the breast. That's what is the hijab. It's the cover of the hair and that part. But then he didn't say this only. وَلَا يُبْدِينَ زِينَتَهُنَّ Again, don't show your beauty. Meaning, anything that I as a woman does to make me look beautiful, it is not haram. But it should not be shown to everybody because afterward he said, don't show your beauty except to the following people. And he mentioned all the maharam, all the men that the woman cannot marry. That's the dress code. Islam is a religion that teaches me every aspect of my life. I call Islam is Islam as a physician again, is Islam of prevention. Islam is a deen of prevention, is not a deen of treatment. Treatment comes later on after all the preventions we didn't do and we fail. So what is the prevention to keep the mor morality in the in the communities? morality on this earth is one of the measures is that there has to be rules in the interaction between the two genders and how the genders especially the woman dress to keep this morality to keep this beautiful earth that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us as representative of him the conduct on this earth should be the way that pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may Allah make it easy for all of us and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Teach us and make us understand and make it easy for us to practice it. Ya Rabbi Ameen.